Hello everybody, I'm Chris. I'm Cindy. And it's another Mystery Box Mayhem episode. And in this one, as you guys can see, we are doing the March Nerd Block Junior Boxes. Cindy's got the girls. I get the boys, since I guess I'm the boy here. And because you're holding a boy, you don't get to touch the lightning bolt of awesomeness for many years. So only Daddy is going to open his box, and Cindy's box is already pre-opened. So with that, put this down. I'm going to check something real quick. And we're good. And then we're going to turn the boxes sideways the wrong ways. And we're going to open, <coughs> open. And you're going to turn your, the other bit. Yeah, there you go. Open. Now, first thing I see, and you and I both have it right at the top, are goo blinks. It stretches, it bounces, it reminds me of Gak a bit. Gak? It's bit. like silly putty. Sort of, so. But yeah. um, it's like an alien ship of silly putty. That's what mine looks like. So I'm backing mine up now. I can't reach, so please. Yes. Next thing that we both have, I believe, is this. And it's a... Splat Slammers. Splat Soft, slammer. safe, squishy, fun. I don't even know what it is. Oh, wow. What is it? <laughs> it's... Oh, wow. You know what it reminds me of? Remember Stretch Armstrong? What is it, like a little bean bag? Sort of. It's stuck right now. Ew. That's cool. <laughs> okay, give give that to Tommy. He wants to put that. Yeah, Tommy, you wanna to play with it? And I'll put mommy's in front. Okay. <laughs> he seems to like it. I don't think it's gonna stand. It feels like it's gonna fall, so I'm gonna put it in the middle. Okay. Now I see something we both have. Well, and, sort of. Sort of. And mine is uh, Lego Friends. Okay. And they're brick erasers. And I have Chimera, and it's a four pack erasers also. Well, that's interesting. So Lego erasers. I'm sure every kid in the known universe is going to want Lego erasers. Uh, Go ahead. Yeah, because I think we, we differ now. No, I still see something that you're holding right there. That's the same. That's the same. You do? Mm -hmm. Oh. A sp well, yeah, SpongeBob, SpongeBob movie. movie. Sp uh, sponge Out of Water. Mystery bag. Oh, this is a new movie. Yeah, it's a mystery bag. And looks like we're both going to have to hear. You know what? I'm going to use the lightning bolt of awesomeness on this. You could hold that one. Could you just somehow grab that? And you could open. You could. Yeah, this one's yours now. Okay. I'll take this and put it here. Now that's awesome. That's yours. Thank you. I'll close the. Okay. Awesome. All right. Well, who did I get? Oh please. Why would I feel? Oh, it's you gotta assemble it. Oh, I got Patrick. So did I. <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see your face. Wait, I can't. No, I might fit. Oh, no, yeah, it's, it's the, the same. same face. Wow. Okay, you assemble yours. Uh, my hand. Uh oh, I dropped one. Don't move your leg. I'm not moving anything. Okay, well, I still have some pieces in mine, but um, I can't assemble mine at the moment. I'm sorry for you. I'm already in the middle of assembling mine. <laughs> All right, well, I put the pieces back in here. Tommy has the instructions. Don't lose yours, please. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm going to the next thing. Oh my god, really? Yeah. It's the same thing. Okay. If we this... are let people understand what you mean by it's the same thing. Okay, um we got this in the regular uh, nerd block, which is the April Fool's kit. And and there goes there your box. There goes my box. Tommy, can you open it? Yeah. Well, I'll just show it. It's the Mr. Freeze uh, Ice and the Harley Quinn Whoopee Cushion. I'm going to put mine together later also oh. just because. It saves uh, you. Yeah, a it lot saves of time. time. So Cindy got it. 
and I got, got it. it. So it looks like all three, Michael, Michael, myself, and Cindy will have our own April Fool's um, kits. Now we'll leave those standing. Oh. Actually, you know what? Hold yours. Take your last item out with your other hand, and I'm going to move this box down. I'll move your box down. Okay. All right, I got... Um, grab that mic. Grumpy Cat. Uh, mix and match Mimi and the Plush. And this is the <laughs> Grumpy Cat. No, I'm looking at mine and I'm laughing. Look at mine. <laughs> I got a Digimon Fusion Shoutmon times four. <laughs> I heard that they were gonna do some Digimon stuff in the, in the Junior. She makes me look everything up for the Junior to see what's going on. I I like I like I like the Digimon. I used to I used to be interested in Digimon when I was younger. Well, I know one item I won't be able to have. Hey, wait a minute. Because he's gonna throw it away. All right, Judgment time. Okay. <gasps> This is a very interesting, sticky, squashy, awesome, uh, but don't drop it on the floor. It's going to get very dirty. Very uh, I like I like the, what's it called again? The Splat Slammers. I like, you guys know how I am with blind bags. I like the SpongeBob blind bags. I don't like that Cindy and I got the same exact one, but what can you do? The April Fool's thing, like I said, from Nerd Block was an excellent uh, addition, Thank especially because April First is going to be coming before the next Nerd Blocks come out. I can't judge that because that's yours. I think the erasers are nice, especially for kids right now because they're in school. The Digimon's an awesome plus, and the Goo Blinks are really nice touch to um, the piece de resistance of this uh, box. I think kids would definitely enjoy it. So, what about you, Cindy? Um, I don't know how I feel about that squishy thing. I mean, that's obviously going to be Tommy's. That splat, splam or whatever it is. The um, cat, Tommy seems to really enjoy. Throwing. Throwing, yes. <laughs> um, the erasers are a cute little fun thing. Especially, like, I'm an artist, so I like to draw. So it's always good to have erasers on hand. Even though they're little Legos, it's adorable. The... Could you please stop that? <laughs> the um, Goobling, I'm not too sure about that. I don't even know how messy this is going to be. I'm actually afraid to open it. But uh, it says it's non-toxic, so I guess it's okay. For kids, five and up. Five and up, you're not five and up. I'm sorry, buddy, you can't have it yet. And the um, April Fool's thing, I love this. I can already see I'm going to be using these ice cubes in the next video or so, so I liked it. The only thing um, I'd have to say was that we got most of the things the same in this box. We didn't really get too much difference. Well, don't we always get the same, technically? Technically, but last time I think we had a few things that were different. Maybe. So, um... I'd have to give it a 4.5. Um, me, I'm giving it a three and a half, cause um, <laughs> it's nice stuff, and I think kids will really enjoy it. I put mine together while you were talking, so we do have a Patrick yeah. put together. We have the same Patrick. So. I think it's nice. I think the boys are definitely gonna love the Digimon. I think the girls will love the Angry Cat if they can. Managed to hold on to it for more than just two <laughs> seconds. This is interesting. I swear, this is a really nice... It's a silicone gel polyester foam beads. It's really... It reminds me of the Stretch Armstrong days. A bit. I don't really so like I'm going to have lots feels. of fun with these. Well, the pink one, I'm sorry, but I'm not. But this is really Tommy cool. Tommy really likes it, though. So, all in all, three and a half for me. So that's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to check out Comic Related, Comic Frontline Zone 4 Podcast, and Frontline Gaming Zone. Together, we are your number one source for comic related news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. This thing is so much fun oh my God. to play with. Smell your hands. It smells like plastic. Wow. Um, as always, feel free to comment below. If you have kids, I definitely would recommend trying this out. I believe it's for ages. 5 to 11? Um, yeah, because a lot of these things say 5. 
Okay, so they're for ages 5 to 11. Uh, really great stuff. I'm um, really glad. This is basically the reason we're getting Nerd Block Junior is to get all the Nerd Blocks because we're getting all the types. So really good for your kids. I would definitely recommend it if you have kids 5 to 11. I guess when they get to 11, it's back to the normal standard Nerd Block. Will you stop giving him stuff to throw on the floor? She's really smart, you know? And as always, guys, don't forget, keep reading, keep collecting, and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.